Hey, how you doing? This isn't, I can't do, this isn't a normal episode of He Plays. So I felt sort of weird doing my normal introduction. <laughs> Well, I am going to be doing a grinding episode. Wait, what's up here? Um, so this isn't technically... What is that? Oh, no. Oh, this is so bad. This is really not good. Um, oh boy. Okay, let's go. We gotta cure Tori or else he's not gonna survive. And we're gonna have him use fire on Ogre Boy. Woo! Yes! Oh, that was not very good, but it was because he was in the back row. Oof. Okay. Nice. And it should be Tori's turn. Come on, use that fire. Wow, I wish that were better. Um, let's use another cure here. And let's use another magic. We gotta get rid of this ogre. We need to get rid of this ogre. This is... Oh! Okay. This is a grinding episode. Wow, that was not that much. Um, and, uh, oh, good, we got rid of him. Okay, start on that guy. Um, okay, let's do that. And then we'll just have him normal attack, because I think I can take these guys out. This is going to be a good chunk of experience. Yes, okay, good. Yeah, just, uh, just grinding away, doing some stuff. I'm not going to be advancing the plot at all. I'm not going to be finding any, like, new stuff. I'm just going to kind of wander around. Um, whew! Got a lot of experience there. That was beefy. Um, so basically, we're going to go all the way back down. Oh, just one little baby wolf. We're going to go all the way back down. Um... And just be close to Cornelia so that I can um, just, you know, heal up whenever um, the time uh, suits me. And I don't think I need to right now. But I'm not really going to stray far from home. Um, I think I can. Oh! Nice! think oh now which one do i hold if i want to run oh maybe it's not maybe you don't do it on the overworld oh whoa oh yo i have a whole like i did not know this that rules okay it doesn't let me like go there or anything but three of 13 chests so i have to go back there i got an item that's so great! Oh, that rules so hard. Okay, so now I know, like, where I've been, what stuff I've gotten there. Oh, that's excellent. I love that. Um, I hit X, um, and it just goes on auto, uh, which is kind of nice. And I can turn it off any time. Yeah, so like watch this. Yeah, like I'm not doing anything here. I can just let it go. Um, this isn't the place to go for experience. I think I'm doing okay enough to kind of wander up here in the peat bog. Not, not the me fog, but you know, like 
P-E-A-T. Peat bog, as in, you know, like in Scotland. Oh, oh, I was gonna, so while I'm grinding, this is episode 2.5, while I'm grinding, I was gonna do, uh, I found an RPG Would You Rather, because that was kind of fun to do last time. What are my stats right now? Bee, bee, bee. Oh, wow, Patrick's not doing super hot. I've got one more cure left. Okay. So let's do this. Beep, 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 beep. Well, maybe I'll just go. I like I said, I don't I don't have anything to sort of um oh man. I don't have any uh enough stuff to kind of like go and get real aggressive in here, because there's some there's some beefy enemies here and, and further up north. Um but I don't really have the health for it. So I'm just going to kind of wander around here for a minute and um, get it until I feel like I'm kind of running low. But for an RPG, would you rather have random encounters or see the enemies before you fight them? I'm going to... I think there's a couple different ways that, that I could answer this. I could answer this as if I were in an RPG... Or I can answer it as if I were playing an RPG, because I feel like the answer would be different. Is that an undead werewolf? I think. Oh, but you know what? I'm out of spell slots. I was going to say, I might be able to use... I don't have any spell slots left, so... Um... Okay, let's just do that. Jonk! Nice. That was a lot, but not as much as I wanted. Oh! Yeah, this is a new enemy here. I think after this I might make my way on back downtown. I love this battle theme so much. That wolf just healed. Not lying. That's no joshing. Um, I'm going to do it as if I were in the uh oh i'm poisoned as if i were in the rpg um i think i would rather have random encounters i guess it doesn't really make sense though to think of those as like two separate things but yeah i think i would rather have random encounters because i don't really want to know what's coming at me before it happens um it kind of just i'm just sort of into the style of like oh something something's after me right um nice Yo, level up. Sweet. Um, we need... Antidote. Excellent. Um, yeah, I, I don't... It's not that I dislike seeing the things, because Chrono Trigger does this, Earthbound does this. Um, but I just... Uh, I, I don't know. It's just not for me. I, I like this style. I like getting the random encounter and then seeing what, it, what appears. Um, I think that's uh, pretty good. Get out of here. All right. So we're going back um, to Cornelia to... Ooh. Dude, get out of my life. We're going back to Cornelia to stay the inn and replenish all of our stuff. And uh, then what I think I might do again is go back across the 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 bridge. Um, oh, rats! Uh, go back across the bridge and then go up a little bit north to get some beefier enemies because um, it's a little bit dicier, and I'll have to like do it on my own. Um, it's kind of nice that they send you out. Okay. So let's go Norith. See what kind of silly things we can get into fights with. What do we got here? Oh, just some normal wolves. It tried to flee, but it was unable. Gone. Yo. All right. Let's see what we got here. Ooh, desert. Maybe there's some bad guys in the desert. It's the Gigas Worm again. Yeah, those things are not a joke. Uh, two, would you rather play a shooter with RPG elements like Mass Effect or an RPG with shooter elements like Mass Effect? Oh, it says Mass Effect 2. Uh, 
I think I'd rather play a shooter with RPG elements, to be honest. Um, let's see what we have got in all of these areas. Man, this is a kind of a boring one. Yeah, that'll get him. Later. Um, yeah, I think I'd rather have a shooter, because I, I like shooters. I like FPS. Um, what, you know what I should do right now, actually, is not mess around. Okay. Um, I learned. Okay. Um, I might be in trouble. Let's use Thundara. Well, there goes that. I, that's what I wanted to avoid. Oof! Boy, there's no no messing around here. Um, oh gosh, I guess we'll just keep trying to smack on these guys. Maybe fire will work better. Chunk? Yeah, that was a little better, I think. That guy should be dead. There we go. Yes! What do we get for this? 390. That rules. Yo. One more of those. So, okay. I learned that, that uh, there's this thing. Oh, man. This was exactly the formation I was hoping to avoid. Let's just focus all of our fire on the Death Star's main reactor or whatever. Um, oh, Tori's not doing so hot. Let's see if we can't get rid of this guy. Why are they so much faster? He's an ogre. He should be big and slow. Oh, dear. Be gone. Okay. Magic. Cure. Attack. He missed. Ow. Um, there's a place called the Peninsula of Power that I'm standing on. Um, and basically, uh, it, it's an area that um, gets sort of mistakenly placed into a, a region that is meant to... Darn. That is meant to have, like, higher level um, enemies... Um, so that you can basically run into super strong enemies much earlier in the game than you are meant to. Nice! That is huge for Justin. Um, it looks like... Or unless it's that over there. I don't know that I can get over there. Oh, that's a town I'm about to go to. Um... Ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Let's heal, physician heal myself. Okay, let's get rid of this ogre as quick as we can. Yo! Okay, that's two real strong hits. Leave me alone! Um, yeah. First person shooter, RPG elements, I like that. Um, would I rather listen to the dub, to dubbed English voiceover or have the option to listen to the original Japanese in a JRPG? I don't know, because I've never played one that did the voices for you. They always, um, darn. Oof! They always, uh, have just been taxed. So, I don't know. Let's make our way back. How far? Okay. I got a lot farther than I thought I did. Yo! Crazy Horse! That's a cool song that I like by Dave Weckl. Uh, that I was introduced to out by friend of the show Justin. Friend of the show and white mage Justin. Um, it's like... I, I don't know. Justin, if you're watching this, forgive me. Is Dave Weckl jazz fusion? I don't know. Uh, but it's a rad song. Um, let's just keep walking here. Walking diagonally. There we go. We made a lot of money. We more than paid for, um, everything that we're doing, which is nice. 
Uh, but I might try to make it back to this other area. Oh, I'm getting like eight. Yeah. Um, so I should be making some cache. Um, and now I'm going to heal. Hey, it's me again. Yeah, I know. We're just out there just beating up horses and ogres. This is not an adult beverage. This is a Red Bull. Which you may also classify as an adult beverage. But, boy, it's fun um, having ADHD and basically, like, running on caffeine. <laughs> like, just being like, well, I'm sluggish and I can't focus and... You know what I should do is just have a Red Bull. Um, I think I would go dubbed, honestly, um, if I were playing. Because I, I like, um, oh, he missed. Crud. I like, um, did I say dubbed? No, I meant subtitles. Um, I like listening to stuff that's dubbed um, when I'm like working or something. Like if I have something on in the background, sometimes I'll, I'll rewatch Samurai Champloo. And I actually almost always watch Samurai, Samurai Champloo is like that and Full Metal Alchemist. I always watch in English because I, I was introduced to them in English uh, with subtitles or like dubbed. Um, I mean, I watch everything with subtitles because it just feels better um, to be able to know what people are saying. Um, man, I really need Tori to get more health. <laughs> um, I don't think I can get there. What is this? Oh, good thing he missed. Um... But I think if I were playing the game and I was sort of like captive to it, I would want, um, I would want the original Japanese. Um, nice, dude. Let's go. That one guy was 150 experience. That whips. Okay. What do we got down here? Hello, little town. Little town. It's a quack. Let's get that over. <laughs> Um, okay. Get him! Yo, nice. Yes, let's go! Yeah, so, like, when, I, when I've got things on to just, like, work, I, I always want it in English, obviously, but when I'm captive to it, I, I want subtitles. But that's hard to do with shows. Like, it's hard to watch, like... I still haven't finished Attack on Titan, and I started it like four years ago because I was committed. Like, I want to watch this with subtitles. It just, I, at the time, I kind of got out of it, and I just never got, like, recommitted to watching it because, like, you have to sit down and stop what you're doing and watch it. Um, like, that takes a lot of commitment. Um, anything? What's over here? I, I, uh, I don't think I want to get... Let's, let's see what's here. Oh, it's a ghast. Um, I am going to fire one of these boyos because they look like they're ghost or undead or something. What? What's wrong with Petey? Is he paralyzed? That's a nice chunk of experience. Okay, it must, it must just be like a one-time thing. Oh, man. Oh, nice. Preemptive strike. Okay. Oh, that didn't do much. <laughs> oh, get out of here. Nice. Okay, he's going to get... Oh, that's right. I got to go... He didn't even get a turn. Oof! Oof! Justin! Okay. We're gonna need, uh, let's use an item. That was less than I wanted. All right. 
Uh, let's use some magic on Tori. Nice, perfect. This might be... Yeah, see, this, I think... Let me... Oops. Let me save here, just in case this gets ugly. This is what, in the original game, is the Peninsula of Power, is what it's called, because... Well, it must not be. They must have fixed it, or, you know, done something new with it, um, because... Normally, you would run into, like, a level 2 ogre, like, something really strong. Um... And I did not do that. I did not. Nice. Get out of here. It's gonna probably gonna take two more turns. Ouch, Patricio. Ouch. Haha. -ha, Tori was like, nope. I think on his next level up, Tori should get a good, um, get a good health boost. Because it kind of depends, like, every few levels, one of your stat Doc on. Every few levels, one of your stats will get, like, a big bump. Which is why sometimes, um, alright, let's get out of here. Sometimes you, uh, go up, like, one or two hit points, and sometimes you go up 20. Um, let's go here and here for now. Should have two more of those. Yep, okay. Two more white magic. Man, a lot of wolves. I'm gonna hang on to... The wolves aren't terrible. It's just hard when there's seven of them. Um, yeah, dude. Tori, doing the work. That's gonna do it for... No, it's not. Never mind. Well, that is. Nice. Oh. oh, man. There we go. That'll do it. Um, would you rather play a game with turn-based combat or real-time combat? Turn-based. Every day of the week. Um, I like the active time battle system. I don't consider that to be real-time combat. I, I consider that still to be turn-based. Um, it's just that the turns are uh, pressured temporarily. I don't know. Maybe that's equivalent, but... Um, I still consider, like, FF6, um, like, with the active time battle. I, I consider that to be turn-based. Um, yeah! Yo, Petey with the big boost. Patrick. Tori finally getting above 100. That rules. Okay, that's what I want. Um, yeah, dude, that one was easy. Would you rather experience a linear story or an open world? I think this is a false dichotomy. I think this is sort of a false question. Um, yo, Tarantula. Miss? Get out of here, bug. Yeah, this guy's toast. Well, never mind. No, he's not. Can you die? Shoot. Don't be poisoned. Okay. Okay, got rid of him. Got, yeah, for sure. But two. Nice. It's a pretty good little chunk. Uh-oh. I... Uh, I may be going the wrong way. Um, got two more cures. Two more fires. Okay, that's a good start in the ogre, I think. Hopefully that'll... I wanted them to get rid of the Gigas Worm because it would be easy to get rid of it first. And then we would in endure sort of less um, turns. Yeah, there we go. Okay, cool. Uh, uh, Justin's about to level up. My... Oh, I have made a grave error in the direction I'm walking. Yeah, I need to go here. That's right. Because that's the town I don't want to go into yet. Lizard? More like... Let's... Er... Heard him. Ha 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 ha. Got him. Peach. Level up for Justine. 
Juice Springsteen. <laughs> that's dumb. That's not even my joke. That's a that's from Power Thirst, a video that came out in 2006. Power Thirst now comes in women. What was the next question? Got that loser. Oh. Would I rather experience a linear story or an open world? I think, yeah, like I said, I think it's a bit of a false dichotomy. Um, because I think you can have a linear story in an open world, right? Like, you just have the openness to make choices about things and experience the linear story. Like, the story can be overall linear. Breath of the Wild is a perfect example of this. The story is linear. You get the story in its timeline but you are outside of it so you sort of experience it like in different modes i don't know again maybe that's just me sort of being daft but like i don't know when you get the memories the memories go in a specific order it's not like you unorder them or change the order of the game um but then i guess you can't just kind of go straight to ganon so i don't know if that really counts I don't know. TBD. Uh, not sure. Would you rather create your own character and personalize the stats or follow a more traditional JRPG level up system with preset classes? I tend to like the uh, preset stuff. Um, mostly just because I don't... I want to spend time like playing the game and being in the battles and like advancing the plot. I don't want to spend a lot of time in menus. And I feel like a lot of newer games have a lot more menuing in them. Um, in the sense that, like, you... Um, uh, in the sense that, like, you have to be really, like, hands-on with your character if you want them to be really optimized. Um, whereas I think in, in some older ones, or like... Like, FF5 was a good example of one where you have to... To really get the most out of your characters, I think you really have to do a lot of hands-on kind of menuing, which was not unpleasant to me. It's just not my favorite. Um, I like six. I like four and six. Um, seven, I felt like was a good balance, um, and, and similar to six. Like in six, you have relics, and in seven, you have materia. Seven's a little bit more intense in that the materia is like there's more materia and. You can have more of it, and you level up the materia themselves, whereas in 6 you didn't level up relics. Um, I was... I, I liked both of those, but in, in general, I think I really want a... I, I, it's like spice, right? Like, all that hands-on customization is good, but a little bit goes a long way for me, personally. Um, I don't know. Oh, come on, give me my last one. Uh, last one. Would you rather have the game be set in a faux medieval period, like Fable 2 or Oblivion, or a sci-fi futuristic setting, Final Fantasy 13 or Mass Effect? Um, why not both, right? I, I don't know, that's just how I feel about that. Um, it, it could certainly be both. I, I don't know why it couldn't. Um, I would like to stay. Um... Because you can have... I mean, that's basically what steampunk is. Steampunk is like 19th century futurism. Cyberpunk is like... We're in the future and everything's like technology, but also it's the Dark Ages, right? Like, So I don't know that you have to pick just one of those and, and like have that be it. Like, no, one time period. Um... But I guess if I'm going strictly by what the question is asking, the question is asking me between those two. And I think if I have to pick between those two, I'd, I'd rather go with like a medieval kind of thing. Let's get my map out here. Get a little bit bigger. Oh, no, there's an ogre in the forest. Last time get my foe reports us in the grave.
Ha 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 ha! Get boinkled, my dude! Alright. This is going quite well. Okay, so I think it was down here. Good. Okay, this is where I'm going to end up for the start of the next episode. Oh, I've been ambushed by crazy horses. Oh, no, Tori! Tori got punched by horses! Oh, man. Dude. Electrocute those ho I don't. I don't feel good about saying that. I'm not gonna say that. <laughs> that's not. That's not what I'm trying to do in this game. Well, that didn't do as much as I wanted. Huh. It's okay. We're just gonna go hop into the inn or motel or whatever it is in this new city. Um, but that'll be at the start of the next episode. Yes. Um, which I, I guess by this point you will have already seen. Um, because this episode isn't really about, you know, the game. This episode is just me chatting. So, anyway, I uh, hope you had fun. Maybe I'll do more of these where I'm just sort of grinding a little bit. But uh, we'll see you next time on P-Plays. Bye, guys.